All right, the surveyor stands 150 feet from the base of a viaduct and measures the angle of elevation to be 46.2 degrees. His le eye level is six feet above the ground. What is the height of the viaduct to the nearest foot? All right, so they want you to be a little picky about your drawing. So here we go. Here is the viaduct. We'll just, I'm not sure what a viaduct looks like, but we'll, we'll take a fair stab at it. Let's say that's a viaduct. Viaduct. Okay, here's you. Not the best drawer, but we can certainly give it a shot. Okay, you're looking to the top of that viaduct. Okay, and my angle of elevation is 46.2 degrees. Okay, they're saying his eye level is six feet above ground. So this height right here is six feet. Okay, they want you to find out the height of the viaduct. So what you're going to do is, you're basically gonna find this length, this height right here, and then when we're done, add six. So the height of the viaduct is gonna be equal to the amount that we find plus six feet, okay? So let's take a look. Well, by the way, they say it's 150 feet. So that's this length. So look at the angle. Look at what they're asking for. Look what's given. I'm looking at this in relation to the angle. This is my opposite side right here. This is my adjacent side. Think opposite over adjacent, what's your ratio? You're gonna hopefully tell me tangent. So the tangent of 46.2 degrees is equal to x over 150, okay? So to get x by itself, X is being divided by 150, so we're going to apply the inverse operation of multiplication and multiply both sides of the equation by 150. 10, 46.2 is equal to X over 150 times 150. All right, inverse operations will cancel and we're left with X. Pulling up my calculator, boom, whoops, what happened there, go, oh that's interesting, somehow my calculator got taken away from me, hold on just a sec, we're going to go new one, oh no, okay, and now we're going to go, there's my calculator, close that up. Okay, so here we go. Clear it out, make sure we're in the right mode. Up, oh, see it's in radian, so you want to arrow down. Push that over to degree, second quit. And now we'll type in 150 times tangent 46.2 degrees. Enter. 156.42 feet. So 156, 6.42 feet is X. So now to find the total height, we're gonna take and add six feet to that. So we go plus six, 162.42 feet. So height is going to be equal to 162.42 feet. And that's an approximation. Very good.